Hi, welcome to my class. In today's class, we want to look at how we can find the real value of m and n from this given equation. Then we have 2 raised to power m minus 2 raised to power n is equal to 2016. But before I proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Solution. The given equation, uh, we have 2 raised to power m minus 2 raised to power n is equal to 2016 and the question says we should find the real value of m and n this implies that we know 2016 the 2016 2016 is greater than 0 then we have 2 raised to power m is greater than 2 raised to power n because this is 2 raised to power m plus 2 and this is minus 2 then this imply that we have m is greater than n you now said let m is equal to what n plus k where k is any integer then this imply that 2 raised to power n plus k minus 2 raised to power n is equal to 2016 then this can be write as we have 2 raised to power n dot 2 raised to power k minus 2 raised to power n is equal to 2016. But something is common. We have 2 raised to power n is common. Let's factor it out. We have 2 raised to power n into 2 raised to power k minus 1 is equal to 20. 16 then but 2016 can be expressed as 2016 is called we have 32 times 63 then this implies that we have 2 raised to power n into 2 raised to power k minus 1 is equal to 32 uh, 63 32 times 63 3. remember 32 can be expressed the same thing as 2 raised to power 5, that is 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, 8, 8 times 2, 16, 16 times 2, that is 32. Then this implies that we have 2 raised to power n into what? 2 raised to power k minus 1 is equal to 2 raised to power 5 multiplied by 63. Then from here, we can see that we have 2 raised to power n and 2 raised to power 5. We have 2 raised to power k minus 1 and 2 raised to and 63. Then this is what? This one is even. Then because of 2 raised to power k minus 1, it's now odd. Then this one is even. And here is what? Odd. Then let's compare. This implies that we have 2 raised to power n will be equal to what? 2 raised to power 5 or then 2 raised to power k minus 1 will be equal to what? 63. So let's say this is first case. Let's say this is second case. Now, then from the first case here, is 2 raised to power n is equal to what? 2 raised to power five but they're having the same base this is two and this is two then n is equal to what five our n is five then from the second case we have two raised to power k minus one is equal to 63 this implies that we have two raised to power k is equal to what 
63 if this minus 1 cross the other equal side it will become plus 1 then 2 raised to the power k is equal to what 64 and 64 can be expressed as 2 raised to the power 6 then this implies that 2 raised to the power k is equal to what 2 raised to the power 6 this they have the same base then k our k k is equal to 6 but m is equal to n plus k then we do not we know the value of n our n n is equal to what 5 then and our k k is equal to 6 that is k here we have it as 6 and we already know our n n here so be what equal to 5 our n here is equal to 5 and our k here is equal to 6 then we know we say that our m is equal to n plus k so we want to find the value of m now therefore m now because to what 5 plus 6 which is equal to 11 so our value are we have n is equal to what 5 then m is equal to 11 that is the real value of m and n thank you please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you